So one of the first things that we look at whenever we're working with a business doing usually around $750,000 in annual revenue and higher is we look at their current customer acquisition process and making sure that they have everything in place. And I don't mean just from ads on Google or Facebook or managing social media. I mean, is their website set up correctly to convert? Are they sending people to the best landing pages or sales pages in order to convert them into a quality opportunity? Are they taking advantage of retargeting so they're not missing out on people coming to their website and leaving without taking an action? That's the first thing we look at. The second thing that we look at and see uh, a lot of times some improvement is needed is within the sales and marketing teams. We need to know and have them working together so we can understand the customer acquisition process, the sales process, so we can measure certain specific KPIs like cost per lead, cost per acquisition, closing ratios. This allows us to know exactly what you need to be investing and how to scale appropriately. And this is easily done now through digital platforms and automation. The next thing is opportunities based off of effective testing and knowing what offers messages, products, and programs our customers actually want as opposed to what they don't. See, on the digital world, you can put stuff out there and see what they're responding to so you don't waste money on campaigns that aren't going to work from the start. The next thing is we really focus on customer retention and converting more additional sales from current customers and clients. And we do this through marketing automation, developing relevant nurture sequences, uh, creating customer engagement programs. Very easy to do once you get it set up, but all done through a digital automated tool. We make sure that everywhere your customers want you to be, you are as a business. And what I mean by that is making sure that you're present online, you're present on social media. This is where we see one of the biggest improvements with your overall ROI and NOI, because by opening up additional communication mediums for your clients, you can have the opportunity to reach them, where as opposed they would have just left and gone somewhere else. Now, if you just open up Facebook Messenger, you're going to see a lot more people that don't wanna call and have to talk to somebody, they will message you through those platforms. And last, Having a streamlined process to capture customer reviews and monitoring your reputation among your customers so they start telling your story for you and are able to do it at scale. This is where a brand can really take a life of its own and see incredible things happen because the strongest way to generate more opportunities, more quality client opportunities, more customers and inquiries is having others tell your story for you. And then you need to be in a position to where you can take those reviews, those testimonials, those stories, and then get them out to new customers, new audiences within your target market. And you need to be able to do that at scale, which there's no other way to do it than through social media and these digital platforms in, uh, in 2020. As always, thanks for watching and listening. If you're interested in learning how this might be able to impact your business, feel free to schedule a call with myself or someone from my team. Using the link provided, you can go to our website, lynchpincells.com, or message us via Facebook. As always, we try to educate and provide value where we can, so we promise there will never be any sales pitches or pressure to close on these calls ever. All the best and look forward to speaking with you soon.